Hey, hey, and welcome back at cloudbackuping.com. My name is Mauricio, and in this video, we're going to have a look at my PC backups backup speed. We finally managed to update our account to an unlimited account. Um, the free account, unfortunately, didn't give us enough space to test here um, their services, although it was claimed otherwise on their website. So um, I had to pay for an account. I paid $7.95. And if you're interested in how that works, I've covered that in detail in the previous video. So go ahead and watch that. So um, let's just have a quick look at my PC backup settings. I mean, it's a pretty forward backupping your data up with my PC backup because it, it does it automatically. And now you have an unlimited backup uh, account so you can virtually backup everything you have and not worry about data loss anymore. So, um, well, let's have just a quick look at the backup settings because now, for example, the backup schedule is on daily and I wanted to have it on hourly or something like that. So um, we're just gonna head up into the um, settings menu. And unfortunately, I got to discover that I only can do daily backups. And if I want to back up hourly, I got to upgrade to an hourly account. So this is gonna cost me again uh, money that adds up to my monthly fee and I really dislike that. So other backup providers uh, do offer an hourly or even a continuous backup for free. And here we got to pay for uh, an hourly backup schedule. So this could be more customer friendly, but let's check how much that would cost us theoretically if we wanted that feature. So let's click on upgrade to hourly package and then we come to a page where we get an idea of what else they want to sell us here. I'm really on the verge of calling them the upsell kings because look at that. I mean, there's so much you can purchase extra which other providers, well, give you for free. But um, let's just see how much that costs. The hourly backup costs us $19.95 and um, well, this obviously adds up. So if we want hourly backup, we got to purchase that from the website. Okay, but let's head back to the uh, PC, uh, my PC backup settings here, and we find another tab called the backup selection. Here you can uh, select your data that you want to back up, and um, also you can change the file size, the maximum file size you would like them to back up. And I would highly encourage you to set that to unlimited, to no limit. I'm sorry, to unlimited, because um, well, if you forget to increase this size, you're only gonna back up files that are five megabytes, and this is virtually nothing. And the ability to increase the maximum file size to no limit is actually a great feature that might make me um, prefer my PC backup to uh, Backblaze because Backblaze sets your limit of up to 9 gigabyte per file. However, the majority of users are not going to be backing up uh, files that are larger than 9 gigabytes. So this feature is actually questionable or disadvantage. Another additional feature that my PC backup gives you is that you can specify a syncing folder where uh, you can put your files into sync them among multiple devices and uh, you can sync up to one gigabyte. So this is actually not much. Dropbox, for example, offers more two gigabytes, I guess. And there are several others like SugarSync that offer five gigabytes for free. So this is basically only for the occasional synchronization that you might want to perform. And my PC backup is a backup provider that specializes in unlimited backup. So really this is the focus of the company and this is also what you should make most use of if you are going to decide to sign up for my PC backup. Okay, but the main purpose of the video was to show you how fast uh, the backup process actually is. And um, don't worry, <laughs> we're not gonna wait an hour until everything or four hours until everything is finished. Um, I'm just gonna pause the video here and quickly let my back my PC backup do its thing and then resume the video and see how long it took. Okay, so here we're back and we've backed up successfully our data and it took four hours and 18 minutes to back up one gigabyte. So this is actually in, in the normal range and mostly depends on your up speed. So if you have a good up speed of like 10 or 20 megabits, then this is gonna be way faster than four hours, but be prepared if you want to back up huge quantities of data to actually that it's going to take a while that it even could take weeks until everything is backed up well so should you choose my pc backup as your backup provider i would say if you need unlimited backup this would be an option um because you have no limits in terms of file size in terms of storage space so this is actually going to be worth it 
However, if you don't need unlimited backup, then there are far superior providers such as Mosey or SugarSync um, that actually perform way better in terms of backup and usability. You might want to check out my reviews on cloudbackuping.com and see how I reviewed the other backup providers, or you're just going to have a look at the videos um, I have here on YouTube. If you like the video, then please leave a comment or a vote for it here on YouTube and recommend it to your friends and family. I would be very grateful, and this is the best way you can support me. I hope I see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye.